Today I'm going to be showing you my fifth favourite autumn dish. It's a rich, creamy chicken and mushroom pie. Hi chefs, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, trying a different setup. Let's see how we get on with it today. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe below so you don't miss out on any videos going live on the channel. Now the first thing we need to do in our preparation today is make the pastry so it has time to set in the fridge. Now previously I've said I don't really do weights and measures but when it comes to pastry and desserts it's more of a science so it is advisable to follow some sort of formula. So for a good short crust pastry it's just a simple half fat of flour. So I'm going to do 200 grams of flour, 100 gram of butter. So with that weighed out, I'm going to put in a little bit of salt and I'm just going to rub in the butter to the flour. So all I'm doing is pressing the butter and rubbing it through my fingers so it incorporates with the flour. After a few minutes you should have a nice breadcrumb consistency. Now what I need to do to this is bring it all together and I'm just going to start squeezing and instantly you'll see starting to form a dough. If you do have bits that aren't quite playing along, you can add a splash of water or a little bit of milk, but it should just come together quite nicely. When you've successfully brought that together, you should end up with a nice ball of dough and a clean bowl. So wrap this in some cling film, or pop it in a sandwich bag, put it in the fridge for about half an hour just to rest. Okay, now so onto my filling. I've got some nice chicken, a couple of chicken breasts, some mushrooms, onion, garlic, thyme, butter, cream, and a splash of white wine. So I'm gonna pop a pan on a medium heat, a bit of oil, a little bit of butter, and I'm just going to chop this chicken down, big squares really, big cubes. Do it smaller if you want, but I don't wanna to have to be looking for it. So in this bowl, I've got some seasoned plain flour. It's just a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna pop the chicken in there with it and give it a good coating, good roll around. Now, there's two reasons for this. One, it's gonna protect the chicken and stop it from blistering when it goes in the pan. And the second is when it mixes with the butter, it's gonna help thicken the sauce that's gonna come a bit later on. Add the chicken to the pan. And I'm just going to let that start searing off. So while the chicken's just browning off in there, I'm just going to prepare the rest of my vegetables. Prepare my onion. Now I'm just going to dice this. Now there is a trick to it. You'll see on the onion that it's got lines running down. Just cut down them. Follow those lines. It's like nature's little cheat sheet. Then slice horizontally, not all the way, about three quarters just over, and then chop down and you get a nice dice. I love teaching people that little trick with the onion because it blows the mind. Now the onions can go in and the garlic it's already peeled I'm just gonna puree it so little slices a bit of salt side of the knife and just crush it nice little puree now by adding things in stages we're creating layers of flavor there's going to be structure to the filling it's not just all in one bung it in add something saute add something saute now for the mushrooms stalk out and just peel the outside skin off the mushroom just gets rid of any mud or nasty bits and just flip them on the belly and a nice fine slice then in this already smells fantastic I'm just gonna add a few sprigs of thyme 
and they're just going to they're just going to infuse. Now once this has had a few minutes, I'm going to add some wine. And the wine going in is going to deglaze the pan. The last thing to go in here, splash of cream. Just let that simmer on a low heat now for about five, five, ten minutes. Okay, so now the chicken is simmering away. We're just gonna come back to the pastry. And it's firmed up nice in the fridge. I'm just gonna cut away about a quarter. I'm gonna save that for the pie lids. Now I'm gonna roll out this pastry and just gently work it. Not too fast, don't put too much pressure on, let the rolling pin do the work. Otherwise it's going to break up. It's not going to be very good. It's going to end up with one of them pies that Southerners have where it just has a pastry shell on the top of it. Not a pie, it's a stew with a hat. Now before I move this, I'm just going to let it rest and I'm going to take a little bit of butter, just grease my ring. So I'm going to make two pies. Gently lift it and just line your pastry moulds. Put them to one side and just roll out your lids. Looking for about pound coin thickness. And I just take a ring and I just cut out the lids. Okay, so I've got my pastry in my tin and my pie filling is ready to go in. Then take your lid, pop that on and just press it down, join the edges of the pastry. So just using the end of a fork, press in and down. Okay, so from here, just a little bit of egg wash and into the oven. Right, the pies are out of the oven. Look at these bad boys. They are absolutely magnificent. Now uh, they'd be perfect with some mashed potatoes, some vegetables, but on their own, still be as stunning. have it guys that wraps up this series of autumn dishes next week we're going to be moving on to some of my favorite festive treats if you're enjoying the videos on this channel please subscribe and i'll see you next week